been experimenting with a lot of highlighter recently. Strobing, illuminating, all those Kardashian words. What's up, Buttercups? Welcome to the final episode of this season of Mantra Monday, where I, Amy Young, kick off your week with a simple but empowering statement that you can take and use as a mantra in your own dating life. Do you know how we like to get Mantra Monday started? It's with a scenario. You really, really, really like him. Something just feels different or easier or better about you two. Like it's not a 24 seven shit show. It's refreshing. And yet you can't let yourself chill the F out for even like a second. For some reason you're like holding on to the damn bar on the roller coaster ride and everyone else is like, just put your hands up. And you're like, no, it's, 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 it's. <laughs> you're freaking out like a tiny smidge bit. And then when you do chill out and relax and you're just like, this is fine, this is great, suddenly you catch yourself and you're like, no, wait, is it fine, is it great? Feels like something must be wrong with you because why can't you just enjoy this? Like, why can't you just be like, I'm in this great relationship and it's so fantastic and oh my God, I like you, you like me. Why can't you just let yourself enjoy it? Why are you so anti-enjoyment? Why do you like do this to yourself? Because no one is doing this to you. You're doing this to yourself up here, 24-7. Welcome to being a person. Isn't it fun? Repeat after me. Falling in love requires learning to leap. Falling in love requires learning to leap. Falling in love requires learning to leap. Yeah, why do I feel like that's something I would read on the side of like a little tea bag? tag like it's just hanging out the cup and you're like oh yeah falling in love requires i'm cute it's cute learning to leap L like into what i guess into the unknown into the abyss <laughs> into the unassurance of what could happen if i actually let myself love this person i mean that's something i'm not good at you know like taking the leap just kind of going for it just trust falling into my own future that i am co-creating with this other person i'm um not the best at that and i don't know why people say that they like fall in love because like i'm not falling i am like clinging to the cliff with everything that i have and at a certain point i'm gonna have to like let go and just let myself go and let control go and just see what the fuck happens. And of course there's like a risk involved. Like I don't know what's gonna happen with me and this person. I don't know where it's gonna lead. I don't know if feelings will change. I don't know if I'll change, but I do know I wanna let myself feel more love. I want to give more love. I want to enjoy more of my life. And if this person could help me do that, then who the fuck am I to stand in both of our way? I can learn to take these leaps. I can succumb and surrender and trust and fall in love. I can. Oh my God. Oh, tear to my eye. Not really, but that was beautiful. Letting yourself love and be loved by others is not always easy. It doesn't always feel simple and like, oh, I'll just do that. It does require bravery and vulnerability and risk and it is always fucking worth it. Don't forget that. You know, there's always so many more things I wanna say that I just can't fit into these videos. And that is why I send out a regular email series to the awesome community of people who are part of the bigger conversation that's happening over at amyoungcoaching.com. So if you wanna get in on that, just head to the link that's in the description box. You can enter your email there and I'll visit your inbox very soon. I would love to connect with you that way. Speaking of making connections, something tells me that you have a gal pal who really wants to get in on this party. So go ahead and share this video with her. Help her get in on the romance revolution because we are totally changing the way you think about dating and relationships over here. One video at a fucking time. Thank you so much for watching this episode and every other episode this season. It means a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Once I was wearing this shirt at a show and this girl stopped me and was like, oh my God, I'm a witch and I love your shirt. And I was 
was just like, wow, that's probably the last time I will ever hear that exact sentence. 